What's the important entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, episode 186, Constructing Lightsabers. lightsabers will look like. Okay, I finished designing the parts for each lightsaber. I think I might make multiple copies of some of the lightsabers, with each version having a different color blade, similar to the source material from Hasbro. Well, now to print out the parts with my 3D printer. Here we go! Wow, Quentin must be really excited about this project. I know I am. Of course he's excited. Who doesn't love collecting things? Well, I sure hope they'll include all the mainstream hilts, both from Jedi and Sith. If I remember correctly, Hasbro's non-powered lightsabers came in three different hilts, Light on Jin, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Luke Skywalker. With the last one, of course, once belonging to his father, Anakin, before he turned to the dark side, becoming Darth Vader. As far as I remember, there were three different versions of each hilt, with each version having a different colored blade. Of course they came in the correct colors, green for Qui-Gon and blue for Obi-Wan and the Skywalker family. Qui-Gon's came in green, red, or blue. The Skywalker lightsaber came in those same colors, and Obi-Wan's came in blue, green, or purple. Ironically, Mace Windu was the only Jedi to have a purple lightsaber back then, but Hasbro didn't even bother to make a Mace Windu hilt. Well, here's hoping Quentin's lightsabers will be decent. Okay, I have printed every part and have painted and assembled them together. The hilts that I made include Qui-Gon Jinn, both of Obi-Wan Kenobi, both of Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Mace Windu, Palpatine, Count Dooku, and even Darth Maul. I even made multiple versions of each hilt, coming in all different colors. Alright, it's time to use my magic to create multiple copies of these hilts. Wish me luck! Wow, Quentin's finished his master versions of his toy lightsabers. I can remember seeing a stage adaptation of Star Wars Episode One. Everyone in the quest here had recently turned back to true human form at the time. We went to see him the other weekend, but didn't get to see Quentin and his friends after the show. He probably wouldn't have recognized us anyway. Well, of course, he now knows of our true forms, and I think he likes us better in these forms. He looks cuter now that that's happened. Well, here's hoping his toy lightsabers do great. Okay, I have made multiple copies of every hilt, including every version of each hilt. Alright, it's time to sell these all over the nation. Let's go! Oh my god, you actually made these? Yep, I based them off the non-powered lightsabers from Hasbro that I collected when I was a kid. They look just like them! Colors. These are awesome! Congratulations, Quentin! You got a mind as strong as stainless steel! Well, that's what you do. When you find a flaw with your favorite childhood toys, make improved versions. Well, we're writing hope now! See you later! Wow, lots of kids in Animation Land seem to like my lightsabers. What a perfect alternative to Hasbro's non-powered ones. In the future, I'll sell them on Amazon for 30 bucks each. 
Anyway, thanks for coming. Stop by whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright. See you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the Public Broadcasting Service.